Hello, listeners. This is Chris Jansen with the End Evil podcast. Um, and Evil podcast is created for people who care about truth, for people who care about freedom, who are trying to work on uh, imagining a world without so much evil in it. Imagine that it's possible. Um, today, I, I brought a special guest to um, have a conversation with me, um, Shane Radliff, who I met quite a few years ago and um, reconnected with just last week. And um, what's up, Shane? How you doing? Hey, man. Uh, hey. Uh, yeah, it's uh, good to reconnect, and uh, I'm really, really happy to chat. I was, you know, very, very happy to hear that uh, you hear hear about your uh, your new podcast, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's uh, great to be chatting again. Cool, man. Yeah, so you have, I know you have at least two websites, if not more, up with the Vanu podcast about your websites and what they contain for people who don't know. Sure, sure. Yep, and it was a little choppy there, but I, 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 I got the the, the question. I've got the gist of it. But uh, yeah, yeah. So um, I, I started uh, Liberty Attack Radio um, back in 2015. That was my my first uh, my first venture. Just started. Um, really had no idea about anything back then. Still don't know much more now, but I know a little bit more at least. I think. Um, but uh, yeah, didn't didn't really know much. It was kind of just. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, just just kind of decided decided randomly to to start a radio show, and within a few months, I. I uh I I found the uh I I came across some some anarchists and I guess uh it wasn't wasn't too long after that I I kind of adopted that uh, that label and kind of the philosophy that came with it the peaceful philosophy that came with it and um yeah Vani podcast came 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 down the road from there um which is uh um can talk uh, talk can talk uh, more about Vani but just real real briefly um it's an awkward contraction of the words voluntary and not vulnerable. And uh, it's premised around becoming as uh, uh, invulnerable to the coercion of the uh, servile society, the state, um, and uh, the state and the servile society, I guess. So the uh, um, the the state and also the the culture, the uh, um, I guess the coercive culture that allows such an environment, uh, so such a, such a uh, institution to um, to to exist. So um, I started, uh, yeah, started. Uh, so Vanu, yeah, we're, we're that that pod, pod podcast is dedicated to um, really just, ex I guess, uh, reviving um, this uh, long lost freedom strategy that uh, I guess kind of really went defunct in the 1980s, um, and uh, well, I guess really before that in the 1970s, whenever um, Rayo, the the founder of the freedom strategy, disappeared. Um, but uh, but yeah, we're we're just trying to we're trying to bring back that uh, that freedom uh, that free this freedom strategy and. Um, yeah, I guess just show people that, that freedom really is possible uh, in the here and now, and um, that's that's really what uh, all my work is uh, is, is encompassed around, and um, that morphed into into uh, the Free Republic of Pasnia, um, where uh, my 22 acre homestead here, where uh, um, I uh, it's uh, what I hope will eventually turn into intentional community, um, but uh, for right now, um, I've got uh, it's really just a uh, I've got uh, some people that uh, come through here, some some like minded folks who. Um, who uh, live in their vans and travel a lot. Uh, they come here. Um, like my people are always welcome to camp here. Uh, we've got a few events here at uh, um, at uh, this hopeful British paradise, as I call it. Um, we've got uh, Vani Fest two coming up at the end of the year, and uh, we're really just trying to um, like bring, um, a especially after the past year or so. Um, you know, freedom really kind of seems like a, a, lo a lost cause to a lot of people, and it's not. Um, I mean, we're we're here doing it now, um, and that's what we're trying to to demonstrate here. Um, is that uh, um, that we can we can have uh, we can have these pockets of freedom and, and physical space and time despite what uh, what insanity is transpiring um, you know in the in the external environments uh, around us and um, well, uh, well, well, what was your term you use something paradise yep the self the self liberators paradise is uh, one of the taglines oh okay great great I love it yep. Yep. That's good news. Um, I remember when I first, when, when we first met and I first started checking out your website, you were doing a series about direct action. And um, that's kind of why I remembered to wear my shirt today because I yeah, found that I was like pretty that. inspiring. And you were, you still have that available, right? Yes, yes. The uh, the the uh, direct action series is still available. It should be, the link still should be libertyintertact.com forward slash DAS. Um, Yep, and they all should still be available and, and available for download. And if not, then then let me know because there's a problem there. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'll check that out when I um, go through this show, and and I think that's a big deal because. 
when I got into uh, was on the way, there were very few uh, action takers in in where I, in my uh, research. And when when I came across, he was one of the first people who was saying, "What are we actually going to do about this situation?" Instead of, you know, arguing about the nuances of, you know, um, who should where we should make borders or, you know all the little things that people yeah. like to disagree about, you were actually looking for real strategies to change, change, change your life. So um, I'd be curious if you maybe could just go over a few of those kind of bullet points of things that people can do to um, work towards freedom. Yeah, yeah, for for sure, and and I guess I, I should start by saying like none of this would no like I guess where where I ended up now is not definitely not what definitely was not planned definitely not where I expected. There's a lot of things that, um, like a, a lot of thing a lot of the position like a, a lot of, um, I guess uh, m- much of the position I'm in now is from networking over the past five or six years within in the liberty liberty community. Um, it's just from all yeah all of all of the connections. Um, but uh, but but really I guess I, I would I would say that. Um, what's been most impactful for me is 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 is, is really that yeah that uh, the the networking and I, and again I never thought it would trans it would have transpired into I guess into such again like physical space and time but it, it definitely um, definitely has but I guess the most important thing and it, it hasn't changed we started we st- uh, started season two of the Vani podcast with it but it's financial independence um, it's it's really really the, the the first the first step because if if you're dependent upon um, you know mainstream income it's going to suck up a lot of your time and if you don't have time to if if it, it's it, you, you get you get home from that nine to five strip outside a job. You don't have a lot of time and energy to you know investigate uh, some of these some of these other topics. That's I mean, these other important topics or areas that 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 should that should get attention. Um, and uh, then also too, you know, it's 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 uh, um, it's it's just hard to it's hard to break that cycle. You know, I've been I've been in I've I've kind of I've been there. Um, I've definitely been there, and um, it's it's not uh, easy to to climb up the to, you know to climb up the ladder, especially if you're a freedom minded individual. Um, it's uh, it's definitely not uh, definitely not easy. So that's the first thing I've always kind of recommended is um, as much as you possibly can, um, uh, you know, if if, if yeah, as much as you possibly can, work towards financial independence. And uh, you know, if you can't retire, um, I guess. <clears throat> find ways to monetize um, f- um find find ways to monetize uh you know what you love doing um so like for example like uh i i um found rayo and vanu and all of these old vanu publications and um you know it it takes a lot of time to di- digitize those so i was, i i i decided to write a book myself and uh published it and realized you know why don't i go ahead and you know, i could i could publish those as paperbacks you know they're available for free um but i could publish those as paperbacks and they'd be you know cool little collectors you know items and uh you know people could support my work if they wanted to uh, and it's more, it's better than just asking for asking for a donation um so I, uh, you know, I decided to, to give that a shot and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's just, again, the networking is really paying off in, in that regard too. So, um, I, I would say like, uh, you know, um, if, you know, um, if you're financially independent now, great. Um, you know, that, 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 that frees up, a, that frees up a lot of time, but, um, you know, if you, if you can't retire, definitely try to, um, yeah, do, be able to do what you love, um, and live in, live in, in alignment with your principles. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, um, <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, I guess more more generally speaking, though, um, yeah, really, really, just figure out where you are in in your stage of Vanu and freedom. Um, I mean, uh, the, the the thing I love about Vanu is it's highly, highly individualized because we're all in different places, um, all in different positions. Some people have families, some are individuals like myself, um, and uh, it's 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 uh, yeah, it all depends on wh- where you are and also and also what you what you what you want out of life. So. Um, yeah, figure out where you are in your pursuit of honor or freedom, and um, I guess uh, the way that I've been conceptualizing it lately, and, and I guess re- really as of late, is just you know how many uh, how many ties and connections to the state and the servile society do you have, and uh, you know what are the easiest and most painless ones to get rid of, um, you know just cut start cutting those ties, and and you know eventually um, you'll get down to where you have you know one two or three you know these little ties left. And, um, I guess you get to a position where I am now where it's like, holy shit, like there's, there's not really like, any, there's not really any, there's not very many areas of dependence. So, um, I guess, it's, and, and there, there's really no perfect solutions. Um, and it's, it's not easy. Um, but, but really the, 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 the idea is that, um, you know, freedom is possible and, 
um, there, there's, there's this abundance of strategies and solutions out there, whether it's Fani, whether it's Agorism, whether it's, um, you know, uh, building the second realm, which we've talked about a lot um, over on the Vani podcast. You know, there's, there's an abundance of solutions out there, and there's really no reason uh, for people to think that, um, that you know, what's, what's is portrayed portrayed in you know uh, government controlled media or or any of those in any of those you know coercive avenues um that that's that that's not reality that doesn't have to be a reality um so um yeah that's 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 kind of where it what that's kind of the the what, what i what i toss out there right now love it and and i like that aspect too of um building building something new um rather than a lot of people have this idea that we can take this existing system and we just need to fix it, you know? And it's like, no, it's unfixable. What we need to do is build something better and let it fall apart when something better is shining forward, then people will jump over to that. So, you know, creating a good example, but kind of going back to the beginning, what I skipped over, I wanted to ask you was, okay, like you, you described how it's been this process you know, going from when you first got into this freedom stuff and you're trying to do the direct action series and you're doing interviews with various people and you kind of got down this road that led you to the Vanu. And um, as a reminder for people, that's, you know, working towards becoming invulnerable to uh, to government coercion or any kind of coercion as far as that goes. Um, I'm curious what what inspired you to work so hard on this. I mean, you've been doing this website and um, audio books and, you know, weekly shows for years now, like, um, you said 2015. So, you know, yeah. that's an easy five, six years, if not more. Yeah. What, what inspired you? How, how come you put so much energy into this? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was, I think my first YouTube video was in like November of 2014. Um, or something like that. November, December of 2014, and then yeah, LUA Radio was, 20, was 2015. So yeah, it's crazy to think about. It. It's been it's been that long, but um, really, I I don't know, man. Like it's I I came across um uh, I came across 9/11 Loose Change, and I think it was 2011, and um I didn't immediately mm. um you know go down this path, but that was like the first thing that kind of shook me. It shook me awake a little bit. Um, but it was it was probably six months or a year afterwards where um you know there wasn't really any other option like um. And, and looking back on it now, it's very, it's very, very clear, but there wasn't really, really any other option. I, I tried for like five, six years to do the survival society, you know, jobs I tried and I had a couple of good ones that, you know, I, I enjoyed. It's just, I, I couldn't do it. Um, wasn't, you know, wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't really, really cut out for me. And then also too, it's just what, what more important work is there? Um, I mean, there's so many pe people that are just are, are, are just, you know, tied up in these, um, you know, and before 2020, you know, it was bad enough being tied up in, you know, a nine to five job that you didn't like. But now, like people are having to go through all this extra nonsense um, that could put their health, you know, their health at, at you know, at risk um, to just to have a job to be able to put food on their table. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, that's that's absolutely ridiculous. So, like, as, as far as why. Um, you know, why it's, it's just, it's, there's, there's no other more, more important things to be doing at this point. Um, and you know, Rayo, I guess, discovered, realized this, realized this back in the 1960s that, you know, got, got to find a way to survive, uh, you know, survive, or you got to find a way to, you know, do what he called, you know, liberty at a profit, um, and try to make it where you can, you can, you know, fund your, you know, live frugally and, and live minimally and, uh, you know, try to, um, yeah, you know, may, you know live, live free and, and, uh, um, live free and independently. So, um, I guess that's, that's, it's, it's, it's a, it's a good question. It's a good question. And there's not really a, um, a one answer to it, but, um, yeah, it's just, it really, it just comes down to, um, I don't know what, like what, what, what I, I don't know how, how better I could be spending my time. Um, what's, what's more important. Um, and I know, um, you know, yeah. um, the, the great work network, I mean, that's what it is, right? It's, 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 the, it's the great work. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's bringing about a, you know, a peaceful, um, you know, non-coercive society. Um, it's changing, yeah, changing things drastically. You got it, man. And what, how else are we going to end evil if we don't recognize what, what evil is, you know? And I, I always quote um, Jeremy Locke from the book, The End of All Evil. He says, evil is the destruction of freedom. And uh, I think you hit the nail on the head. What is more important? than human freedom yeah. and if you were to think you know future generations looking back at how we spent our time 
if people aren't spending their time battling for freedom in, in the type of uh, times we're living in, they're wasting their time, you know? Yeah. And um, I think it's a pretty exceptional that you came to realize this at a much younger age than I did. And so, um, you know, I really look up to you for that. But I mean, part of what I'm thinking about next is, okay, when, when I came to realize that our world or our culture is so deeply controlled and in a state of slavery, it was like a shock to me to realize that, you know, and I had lived for 40 years almost before I really, that really sunk in. And so it occurs to me, there's a lot of other people that are going through this process that I went through and that you went through kind of realize, and then I think it helps to kind of help them to, understand that it's a process once you realize this stuff to becoming someone who's trying to do something about it or someone like you who's done a bunch about it and already feeling like some you're coming to recognize freedom in your own life um what i'm getting at is it's not easy it's a frustrating difficult process so i thought i'd ask you for some that lives in your mind and um how to kind of um sorry it was a it was a little robot there and i had your, your voice sped up uh, how to make that transition oh yeah our connections get kind of funky. <laughs> yeah um... yeah you know i was just talking about the transition and process people have to go through and i'm hoping we could give give folks some advice sure on how to get past the the realization you know, that we're slave, that we're in a mm -hmm. culture of slavery and how to make that change happen. Yeah. Well, I mean, how to get through that time. Yeah. And, and I'll be honest, like I'm, I'm still mind blown like daily, um, with, with a lot, with, with just with things, um, with thing, with things I'm learning, I'm, I'm d digging into and learning. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's 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 hard to it's hard to wrap your mind around and i and i'm i kind of made the joke that like you know i was a sheep until last year um until 2020 because i i was like there was just so many areas of dependence there was um like there was so many important things i wasn't looking into um i made myself extremely vulnerable by not doing so and um i you know i i kind of um um yeah i i guess uh yeah last year was like as for for a lot of other people um as, as you said um even for me like i've been doing the, the the direct action stuff for like four or five years but um like it's it's uh um yeah it's it's hard to comprehend the scale of of, uh, of the deception and the manipulation and and just the um yeah just the, the scale of things uh, cer certainly is um but um uh but but again um uh, uh, again um it's uh um i i've come to realize uh, especially over the past yeah especially over the past year that um you know it's 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 about kind of kind of enjoying the process of of education and um and and knowledge and and uh, you know that that's that's um you know that's seeking for truth um and like that's 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 really uh, that's that's kind of where i'm at now is just um appreciate appreciating the journey and um Really, um, I, I've, I've, I, appreciating the journey, but also not not becoming complacent. I'm still building, um, building here and, and uh, here at Pasnia on my uh, on my on my um, on my uh, homestead here. But um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it definitely takes time. It definitely takes time. And uh, like I said, it was it was not an immediate an immediate process for me. I it, I spent you know years just. And, and and there was there was high le high level indoctrination too. College um, with it within that too. So. Um, I mean, I, 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 um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's not easy. Um, it, it's not easy, but, um, and, and it, it, I'm kind of stum stumbling over my words here, but, um, really just, I, I'd say, uh, it, 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 enjoy it, um, appreciate the journey, um, and, um, and uh, I guess the, and, and what you're, what you're finding out as much as you can, um, and then work to, to build something better, um, is, is really, um, yeah, really, really the really, really what real, what I can offer, and uh, look to places like Pasnia, look to you know websites like freedomcells.org, and uh, get with like-minded folks because that's um, yeah, it's uh, definitely important to be around like around like-minded people at this point in time. That yeah, that helps 
you know, um, make the journey smoother. And that's something I wish I would have caught on to even sooner. Although thinking back, it was cool that I, I reached out and met with you and, um, we had done that, you know, mastermind thing for a while, which was cool. It was like a weekly check-in. How are you doing on your project and item cell network through mastermind groups, um, seeking out other like my individual uh, individuals online we still have that capability mm -hmm. so that's something that can be used because you need support it's it's lonely and scary and frustrating to realize that you've become to see a world that everybody around you doesn't see yeah. you know and you try to talk about it and people treat you like you're crazy or nuts or something and shit i mean i remember yeah, so, you telling me about when you were in college and they yeah, were practically that that's important too is to is to trust yourself because um even people that you love and that you that you think you should be able to that that you can you can trust in a lot of areas for sure you can trust in a lot of areas but um people that you love will still drag you back into slavery and servitude unknowingly and, and unknowingly or i guess um um just just ac accident accidentally um for sure um or to make themselves feel better yeah right yeah it's yeah for sure for sure yeah, so um yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna, what I was going to say. I was going to say I remember you were talking about when you were in in college and you were noticing so often in your classes that they were pretty much teaching like socialism or communism. Yeah, I almost equate those two as the same thing, but you know, they are, there is differentiation, but mm -hmm. um how how like normalized it was, was shocking to you or wasn't it like right in the curriculum and stuff as i recall oh, yeah. when you're talking about <clears throat> yeah it was right up oh yeah it was right up front and center there was no like there was yeah no hiding it whatsoever no um yeah and uh you know looking back yeah it's, it's um and and uh, i guess from from what i've discovered um i guess i guess the yeah college had been controlled for a lot longer than just a lot longer than just that so i guess it shouldn't it shouldn't have been surprising to me then but um but yeah it was it was right up front center and yeah just open open advocacy for um you know um a lot of things we're seeing now um transpiring um yeah uh yeah, there's there's a, there's a lot of it, um, and I and I did. I guess I could mention I I I, I haven't mentioned this this series in a long time, but I did uh, I did write an article series called Ventures in Illinois Higher Education, where I talked about some of those experiences. Um, but uh, so yeah, if people are interested in checking that out, libertarianattack dot com. Um, yeah, I haven't 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 thought about that in a little while. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm reminding you of old times. <laughs> Not necessarily. Well, good um, ones, why don't you tell chance. us? <laughs> well, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Well, it's always a mixed bag, you know, and in, in a world of slavery. So yeah. Well, tell us a little bit more about um, recent work. Um, you mentioned the second realm. I, I, I'd like to understand that a little better. Sure, sure. So um, we. So I guess the, the first thing I'll say is that um, we did a um, we did a series on uh, um, over at Liberty and Attack, and also released on uh, on the uh, on the Vani podcast uh, called "Building the Second Realm." Uh, if you go to vanipodcast.com dot com forward slash Second Realm Clips, there's a uh, the the episode guide. But essentially, um, the uh, the first realm is uh, the uh, if you're talking about the second realm, I always like to start with the first realm. And the first realm is um, it's the servile society that 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 uh, you know term I've been using this this entire time. It's the the slave society. It's um, it's uh, you know the the reason that uh, you know we do what we do, Chris. It's it's that it's uh, that that society. Um, well, that's that's the first realm. It's the, the society of of servitude. Um, well, the second realm is um, I mentioned Pasnia, and Pasnia is uh, um, you know trying to make it a, a physical example of of, uh, of what one of these of what one of these is. But the second realm is essentially just a pocket of freedom where we can um, where we can live in freedom now uh, and and in accordance with our principles um, because. Um, yeah, uh, you know, it, it'd be great to, you know, live in a free world where, you know, we can live in accordance with, you know, non-aggression. But, um, you know, I, I want to live in that world now. So um, I'm building a pocket of freedom where, um, where, we, can, where, we, can, where we can do that. Um, so that's, that's the, the idea of, of, of building second realms. Um, they can be physical or digital. Um, physical is more important now in my, or I, well, they're both important, but um, physical is what I'm focusing on. 
Um, but you can also have uh, digital second realms. So these would be um, things like uh, deep web, uh, deep web uh, IRC chats, um, for cypherpunk term, crypto anarchy term for for folks who might be familiar. Um, but um, but uh, uh, things like uh, open bazaar, like uh, deep web marketplaces, um, the Silk Road, um, the infamous Silk Road, um, would would have been, uh, I guess, an example of of one of these these uh, digital second realms, at least to, to some extent. And um, really, the the idea is just uh, where we, uh, you know, building these areas where we can where we can be free. Um, that's 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 what it's uh, that's that's what it comes down to. Um, obviously, there's a lot of other things uh, in there too. Um, it's it's really a combination of uh, say agorism, uh, temporary autonomous zones, permanent autonomous zones, um, and um, yeah, I guess just just a um, general anarchist strategy. Um, uh, or, and then also um, very much security culture. We talk about uh, security culture um, a lot um, on the Vanya podcast too. But um, really, it's it's just uh, the merging of uh, of a lot of strategies um, so that we can um, experience freedom in the here and now. Um, that's, that's the, 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 the whole idea of it, whether it's physical, whether it's physical, digital, um, it's, it's, um, much like I've been talking about for years. It's why I, why I was so drawn to, to the strategy itself. It's, um, you know, the digital is great, but the physical, um, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're, uh, you know, we're social human, you know, we're social beings, right? Um, so let's, let's build these pockets of freedom in physical space and time. And, uh, that's the, that's the motive behind uh behind that and, and if your your audience is interested like i said bonniepodcast.com forward slash second round clips um it's uh um, broken down into 10 or 11 episodes and uh really that's uh the, the best place to start and there's also um a really incredible book second round book on strategy which we do offer um at libertarian tech publications but again everything is available for uh, available for free um on uh, either the bonnie podcast website or the uh, lua website so um, yeah, that's a little a little introduction. Happy to go into uh, into any other in any aspects of it. Books and um, audio on Liberty Under Attack publications that um, I've looked through and listened to, and uh, that's an amazing resource you put together. And um, you know, one thing you you're talking about last we chatted was um in the physical realm actually trying to work with animals and land um you want to talk about that a little bit sure yeah yeah so um one of the the very first things i i realized yeah, last year was um that uh i was uh you know wholly dependent on grocery stores as most everyone else is and uh, i did not like that feeling um and uh i i wasn't uh I so I, I immediately went and I uh, caught a couple lambs and a couple goats. No idea what I was doing, but figured it was a good place to start. I got 22 acres here. Um, there's a, an old chicken coop that I repurposed into uh, you know the, the livestock uh, you know house form, and um, I uh, you know got started with that. Yeah, not really not really knowing uh, knowing what I was doing, but uh, yeah, over the the course of last year, um, kept adding to the uh, adding to um, the the herd of lambs, and uh, now I'm up to um uh, processed a couple um around thanksgiving and now there's uh you know um five or six out there and uh, we just had um just within the past uh, month or so um two batches um of new lambs um so yeah i've i've done you know from start to finish um lamb lamb process uh, start you know from start to you know processing of a lamb from start it's, and it's very very easy i was kind of kind of surprised by that um and uh that's uh so that's one thing. Um, then just this past uh, weekend, uh, we had uh, had a bunch of ducks um, uh, hatching in an incubator. Um, so I got uh, ten ducks that have been out, uh, you know, been out uh, getting getting a little bigger before I put them out in the new uh, the new bird run that uh, we just installed um, this past uh, this past weekend too. Um, and there's uh, twenty chicks in addition to that, so I'll have thirty birds out here um, out in the front yard. Uh, within uh, the span of a, of a couple weeks, um, but really the 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 goal for for 2021 is food self sufficiency, and we're we're well on well on our way there. And so I'll toss out a couple of really quick, really easy, uh, really I guess really simple ideas for people who are looking to um, you know make themselves more invulnerable to you know the centralized food supply chains. Um, quail and rabbit are both very very um, they're 
very easy to raise. They don't require a lot of space, and um, it's quick turnarounds um, nutrition-wise. Um, it's very, very easy to do. It's not hard. Um, so yeah, you can, you know, construct your own little, I, I put together a little junky quail cage, um, that's being used for the birds now. Um, doesn't, it didn't, didn't cost much. You, you get the, you get the birds, you put them in there and you, you raise them and you've got yourself some good quality, some, some good quality protein. Um, so yeah, that's, that's one thing that I, I guess, uh, um, I haven't done yet, um, with rabbits or quail, um, but it's, it's, uh, it's on the agenda. Um, I feed my dog a raw, a raw meat diet. So, um, I, that's going to be, that's going to be her, her, her food. Um, here whenever I whenever I get that started but um, yeah beyond that um, I mentioned the birds they're they're gonna be out here tearing up the front yard for uh, you know the next seven or eight months and uh, fertilizing it and uh, then uh, maybe this maybe this winter maybe next winter um, we'll uh, put up a little greenhouse out there maybe and uh, do year-round growing so um, I want to have a permaculture food forest out here. I want I want to I want to raise um, a bunch of food out here. And uh, one thing I've noticed from being out on the homestead, there are so many ways. Um, there are so many ways to um, you know make money on a homestead. Whether it's um, whether it's yeah, like I said that um, the ducks. Um, I could raise ducklings, and there, I, I've looked around on Craigslist and other places. Don't see anyone else selling those, so I could pretty much set the market for that. Um, there's uh, you know lamb. Um, you know food is always in demand. Duck eggs. Um, so there's there's uh, there's a lot of opportunity that I'm finding out, and um, that's that's uh, what I what I'm doing uh, this year. That's why what I'm busy with uh, when I'm here at the homestead. It's uh, yeah, basically taking care of uh, taking care of animals in, in one uh, one form or another. So um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's fun, it's fun, and uh, I guess I I, I want to emphasize again. I had no idea what I was doing with any of this stuff. Still, really, there's a lot of uh, new stuff I'm experimenting with too. Um, but, um, I would just, just, I uh, just, uh, advise people not to, um, you know, um, not to overthink things too much. Um, like you know. don't be intimidated Yeah. basically. Right. Like you just went out and got some lambs and started, just, you know, and yeah, just I did it. the same thing a few years ago. We got chickens mm -hmm. and it was, you know, I thought, you know, I don't know anything about this, but you know. Every time we had a problem, we'd look it up on those websites, and there's a bunch of different blogs and stories of how to deal with those situations. And it really wasn't that hard to have um, <laughs> poop that makes your garden grow. <laughs> yep. And I started using the poop from the chickens and putting it in my garden and having pretty friggin' amazing results. Mm -hmm. And I personally think eggs are awesome because you don't have to kill a chicken to get the egg. Right. And it gives you a lot of protein. But um, even for people out there who aren't into eating meat, like I was listening to um, Jack Spearco talking on the um, Greater Reset about how important it is to have different animals on your land and by having you know especially a variety of animals moving around mm -hmm. on the land the different way they turn up their decrease yeah. even the way i was doing it with the chickens you know i kind of added it up and with buying the feed and all the straw we were buying or the um yeah the wood chips and everything you know i was almost paying close to 50 cents per egg but you know way better eggs than you get in the store so it was still worth it but mm -hmm. um it takes a while to get good at it and and to the point where you can make money but the sooner you start the sooner you're going to get there mm -hmm. and um you know so it's just getting your feet wet and get and get out there and trying it and starting to learn the sooner the better right mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. You're right, and that's that's what I. Two thousand twenty. Sorry, it's um, unstable you know, internet I, connection. That, that's okay. <laughs> we're getting yeah, we're getting a little bit of a delay. That's no problem. Now I was just getting on to the fact that I I thought it was really humble of you to um, say you know I'm just still learning things, but I think that is one of the key fundamentals to all this. That everything we're discussing, you know being humble and being willing to keep learning, you know? 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. And there's 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 so much more too. Um, like I, I've got I've got much bigger plans. Um, uh, I've got got much bigger plans. Um, uh, like like for example, I'm a uh, I'm a type one diabetic, and I've been looking into um looking into other I guess Eastern medicine like uh, Ayurveda, traditional Chinese medicine. Um, they've had so they've had I guess herbal solutions for um diabetes for a long long time. So I've been looking into um I guess I guess the possible herbal solutions for that. And um I'm not sure if any of your uh, if you're familiar with or any of your listeners are familiar with uh, you know spagyrics or um things of that nature, but um I I plan on um hopefully getting into some of that stuff too actually, you know, growing some of these things and making um I don't know. Just uh, it, there's there's so much there's yeah, there's like like you said, there's there's so much to learn. There's so much um once you kind of um um, I guess, yeah, one, once you, um, I guess, allow yourself to, uh, I guess, yeah, once, I'm, I'm trying to think of a, think of the best way to, 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 to word this, but, um, but yeah, once you, once you open your mind to some of the, some of the things that are out there, it's, 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 uh, it's mind blowing and there's, there's, um, there's, yeah, um, you should never be bored, um, to put it that way. I haven't, um, I, I guess it, it was probably, it's probably been, um, probably, it's probably a year now, um, at least a year. Um, I haven't watched any Netflix or any entertainment or anything like that. Um, and um, cause I, I mean, I, I really haven't needed to, um, there's, whether it's, uh, um, no matter what it is, there's always, there's always something exciting here on the homestead. There's, um, yeah, regardless, um, I guess always, always, definitely always be learning. Um, definitely always be learning. And it gives you, it gives you energy. I think a lot of people hear some of the things we're talking about and they say to themselves, Oh, you know, I would love to do some of that, but I just don't have time. But there's still, in many cases, spending time watching Netflix mm -hmm. or watching the news or, you know, just with the TV on. Just watching entertainment. And the truth is, like you're saying, you know, I can't even think of the last time I've watched a yeah. sitcom show i'm with someone and we can discuss you know what we've been watching but free time i spend studying working on presentations creating podcasts having interviews meeting with other people online that's all i do and it's fun it's exciting because and certainly authorities and governments are not gonna just give us freedom you know we have to earn it the hard way and it, it's it's a fun thing to start opening these doors and see like okay what can we do you know i think it takes that extra creativity that is really lacking in our society so i'm glad to see hear about what you're doing um in the physical world and and the um podcast do you have any um big plans for the vanu podcast is that just going to keep going and or you gonna um you got anything planned for the future? Um yeah, so on your uh, internet stuff? Um yeah, so uh the Vani podcast is uh, will just it will continue um inevitably into the future, I guess just indeterminately as long as it does. Um so yeah, still still doing that. Um I don't, you know, do weekly releases or whatever I release whenever I whenever I feel like I have something worthy of releasing. Um, whenever I, I'm feeling, uh, whenever I'm feeling, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, more random now, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, but uh, there's still still a good amount of content coming out over there. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll keep, uh, keep putting out uh, stuff there. Um, we'll uh, um, continue putting out books on self-liberation over at uh, LUA Publications, uh, libertyattack.com. And um, if uh, any of your audience, uh, if they're if they're authors, uh, you know, working if they're working on publishing a book and they're looking for assistance, um, we always love to uh, to assist authors uh, in that too. Um, and uh, yeah, beyond beyond the um, I guess the the freedom stuff, um, being an, being a, an author and writer myself, I I, I do I, I really really enjoy um, you know taking someone you know helping someone you know helping someone's book through that process. So um, if any of your audience, so uh, we we love you know like uh, anarchist Nagoras fiction, um, we uh, we love you know libertarian philosophy. I can economic solution stuff, um, anything like that. So we, we'd, uh, we'd love to, uh, um, we'd love to, um, to tell publish. Um, and then, yeah, for, um, f physical space and time, paznia.com, P-A-Z-N-I-A. Um, I guess I should mention that the, the name for it, um, PAS is, sh is uh, short for permanent autonomous zone and, um, PAS is p uh, peace in Spanish. Um, 
So, um, yeah, we're uh, still we're still working towards food sales efficiency here. Um, I said that uh, you know we've got uh, Vani Fest two coming up at the end of the year, um, and uh, I've got actually a, an unofficial camping and riding weekend uh, happening here at the Free Republic in just a couple few weekends. So. Um, if uh, anyone's interested in uh, you know act, you know being some some real human beings who are committed to these these principles and and uh, you know building you know building in in, in in real you know real in the real world, um, Paznia dot com. Um, you can join our, our Telegram channel or our committee of a correspondence chat group and um, yeah get in there and uh, love to uh, to chat with folks and uh, yeah love to meet you out here. So um, yeah, with that said, man, I appreciate I appreciate uh, you having me on. Um, appreciate, uh, reconnecting and, um, yeah, I, uh, again, I just, I just, I, I just want to emphasize, uh, um, freedom is definitely possible guys. Um, it's, it's definitely possible. Um, and, uh, just, just got to, uh, um, put in the work, just got to put in the work to, to make it happen. Yeah. And it's a, it's a, it's a long-term game, you know, you can't allow yourself to get all frustrated because, the first show you put out only gets two. If you don't understand what you're talking about, you know, it takes years. Look at Shane's been working on this five, six years. And, you know, finally I've been working on this for quite a few years. Mm -hmm. And I finally started meeting, you know, other people and forming some groups. But I still have a long way to go. And society is far as I can tell, going in the wrong direction right now. So this is going to be a long-term project. We can't change everyone overnight mm -hmm. or even in the next year. But you can, we can be working on things ourselves. So, I mean, I think that's what we can encourage our making changes and start uh, moving forward just one step at a time. And um, I guess to, to kind of close it up, uh, I was kind of curious, you know, the end evil podcast i like to go over um like natural law the idea of natural law is really important to me i think that is like the missing link in most people's minds is not understanding that the things you do matter so i'm a little curious what you think about um hermetics natural law morality you got any comments you can make on those subjects Sure, sure. So, um, I, I guess uh, in terms of natural law, um, I came across uh, um, Mark Passio's work on it uh, a few years back, uh, and I've been familiar with it. Um, of course, uh, at that time, it was it was pretty easy to assimilate with with anarchism with non aggression, um, and um, I my my path really started out with uh, Bill Cooper's Mystery Babylon. So, um, I was familiar with uh, with some of these concepts and ideas. Bill took a different approach on some of them, but um, regardless, um, yeah, I. I uh, it's if it's right in line with um you know um my 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 focus I guess the I I just it's um, Vanu is all about uh, you know coercion or I guess uh, you know anti coercion so to speak and if it, it it's right in line with that um obviously and Rayo Rayo talked about you know working um yeah you know, working in accordance with uh, with nature and, and all of those things um so yeah I'm uh, I'm uh, yeah big bit, yeah definitely a proponent of of, uh, of natural law and um. Um, in terms of uh, hermetic principles, it's it's another another thing I've come across um, in in, uh, um, <laughs> in in the past year. Um, I, I probably know I probably know a couple of principles off the top of my head, but I just haven't looked into it specifically yet. Um, but um, um, I'm pretty sure is isn't uh, isn't um, like, uh, aren't uh, a couple of the hermetic principles? Isn't there, isn't there like uh, uh, as above, so below, and um, um, the the uh, yeah. law of correspondence? Those are a couple of them, right? I'm on, those those are the, the a couple of them. You got it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. So it's just right. making sure. I'm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, all of these all things. All is mind. Mm -hmm. Mentalism. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So vibration. Um, yep. 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 So I, I, I haven't looked into that specifically, but if you look at our, like, if you look at, um, Ayurveda or traditional Chinese medicine or a lot of other of the, a lot of a lot of these other areas, these principles are just inherent in like everything. Um, if you're if you're examining nature, if you're examining reality, you're gonna come across these principles. Um, and um, I've, I've likened it to, you know, to use an example here on the homestead and with, with what I've been looking into with my personal health, 
um, you know, if you become an expert on um, on like the uh, the gut microbiome of like your guts, um, you're actually you you kind of became a soil scientist, sci- a soil scientist too. You know, as 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 above, so below; as within, so like as within, so without. So or I, so, um, I mean, it's 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 all there. Um, it's all there. Um, that's that's been um, my biggest discovery of the past year is, is investigating those things. So um, I can't uh, you know offer um, too much beyond yeah, there it's it's incredible stuff. Um, and it's stuff that I, I imagine I'll be I'll be studying for the rest of my life. So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's that's kind of my my my, my thoughts on it. Yeah, I mean that the fact that you clued in so early to you know freedom and understanding that importance. It's like I think a lot of people are still lost in there's no such thing as truth, or um, you can believe whatever you want, which yeah, you can, but that's not productive when there is a such thing of truth. There are true things, you know, and we can figure out some of those true things are pretty obvious, you know, like we shouldn't hurt other people. We shouldn't make other people do things that they don't want to do. You know, that, that shouldn't be that difficult, but somehow our society has convoluted these really simple ideas and made them seem really difficult and convinced people that they can, um, that it's okay just to stick with all these belief systems and call them, call them law, you know, mm-hmm. and enforce them on other people, which is just mind blowing. Like you said before, it's that has happened. Mm-hmm. It, you know, it just doesn't even make sense. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, kind of the stuff I had written down to talk to you about and um, did a really good job covering all these points. And um, I'm going to, I recently downloaded um, on my phone. I started getting the Von Pad podcasts going again. I've been listening to some of those. So mm-hmm. um, thanks for putting that all together. I'm okay. appreciating that. And uh, I ordered the book. So I recommend other people check out Vanu and the story, um, the right writer Rayo and his his story and information about um, becoming invulnerable to coercion. It's a great uh, great subject matter. Um, yeah. So, anything else you want to close up with, Shane? Um, I mean, uh, um, not not really. I, I appreciate like like I've uh, said already. I, I appreciate you having me on. Um, it's uh, it's been a great conversation, great reconnecting. And um, I guess um, I'll I'll just uh, um, as I pretty much always leave every every episode of the Vanu podcast with uh, always remember Vanu is yours for the making. Um, we we're, it's, it's uh, we're, we all come from different uh, different backgrounds, different positions, and so we have different desires, different. Uh, and uh, you know, different uh, maybe different just different paths in life in general. Uh, different paths in life in general. So um, yeah, um, Bonnie was yours for the making, and um, yeah, always be always be looking for opportunities to to increase your personal freedom because um, they're they they are abundant. Right on, thanks, Shane. Really appreciate it. I find your um, things you say and the work you've done very inspirational, and I think. Um, Anyone who listens to this show will feel the same. So right on, man. Good work. Thank you. And we'll um we'll have to keep in touch and have another conversation in the future. For sure. Anytime, man. Anytime. Our strategy for liberty is the creation of a culture of liberty, a society that occupies its own protected space and implements independent systems of cooperation. We need to create a second realm. Device connection terminated.